This is a video to go through question three from day two in the uh, statistics and probability part two packet. So we have looked at finding the general term of our binomial expansion and this is an example going through it. What we've been doing the last couple of lessons is just writing down what n is, so that's our exponent, a which is our first term and b is the second term, making sure we include that negative. And that's just going to help us with staying organized with this. So to get our general term, we're using um, the, the actual formula for the binomial expansion. That general term is in the formula. It's the third term that you'll find in the formula. So it's going to be n choose r, so we've got 12 choose r, a to the power of n minus r, so we make that 12 minus r, and b, which is this, to the power of r. So you can see we've got x appearing twice here. It would be really helpful if they were... Um, appearing just the one time and we had a nice clear exponent for them. So we're going to do a little bit of work to get there. Um, let's make a bit more space here quickly. Okay, so step one, I'm probably going to take more steps than you will eventually need to, but I think that would be helpful for this video. Step one is going to be using um, the idea of a negative exponent to rewrite this so that um, x isn't on the denominator anymore. I'm then, because I don't want x appearing separately like this, I'm going to have negative 2 to the power of r and x to the power of negative 2 to the power of r. Hopefully you'll remember that we multiply when we've raised a power to another power. Okay, so now I'm getting closer to what I want. I've got an x term here and an x term there. Um, they're multiplied together. So when I multiply things with the same base, I can add my powers. Okay, I'm going to keep 12 choose r there. I'm then going to combine these x's. So 12 minus r, I've got to add on negative 2r because I'm multiplying with the same base. Um, and then I've still got this negative 2 to the power of r. So this would be seen as more simple than this first um, expression, just because we haven't got x appearing twice anymore. It's also going to be a lot more useful for parts b, c, and d. Um, and we'll see why now. Uh, actually, it won't be more helpful for B, but it will definitely be more helpful for C and D. So to find the eighth term, we've got to be a little bit careful here. I don't think this is a very good way of asking the question. Um, because we start with term zero. Um, well, R is zero, sorry, in our first term. So R is always one smaller than the term you're after. So if I'm after the eighth term... I need r equal to 7. Because remember, when we use the binomial expansion, we always get one more term than the exponent. So let's find um, term 8, where r is 7. So 12 choose 7, x to the power of 12 minus 3 lots of 7, and negative 2 to the power of 7. This is now calculating. Work out 12 choose r on your calc uh, 12 choose 7 on your calculator and negative 2 to the power of 7. Multiply them together. 101376. And then calculate this. 12 minus 21. Just leave a negative line. Okay. Um, part C. We're going to be using this um, simplified version. 
we want to find the term containing 1 over x cubed. Well, we know 1 over x cubed is equal to x to the power of negative 3. So I want to find what value of r gives me an exponent on the x which is negative 3. So I want this 12 minus 3r to be equal to negative 3 because then I'll have the right term. So I want 12 minus 3r, the exponent on x, to be equal to negative 3 which is what we're after in this question, part of the question. Um, and this is where this simplified version helps. It helps in finding specific terms like this. So if I solve this I can find that r has to be 5. So when r equals 5, I should find that I get um, an expression where there's an x to the negative 3 term in it. So 12, choose 5, x to the power of 12 minus 15 times negative 2 to the power of 5. Once again, you're going to be doing some calculator work to get your coefficient. Negative 2, 5. 3, 4, 4, and our x is to the power of negative 3. And I'm going to write it down here, oops, so that it's looking the same, in the same kind of form as the question. Okay, we're going to do one more part that's practicing that same thing. Um, so we've been asked to find the constant term. Constant term is the term where there is no... Um, no exponent on the x. So we're after x to have a power of 0. So let's go back up. I want to find out what value of r I need to make that equal to 0. 12 minus 3r has to equal 0. So that's easy to solve. We end up with r equals 4. Um, in fact, it's the term before part c. So when r is 4, I will have 12 choose 4, x to the power of 12 minus, what was it, 3 times r, 3 times r is 12, well that's good, there we go, I'm going to get my 0, and then I've got negative 2 to the power of 4. We've got a little bit of calculator work to get our coefficient, um, but we should end up with 7,920. Obviously, we're not going to have a power of x because it is our constant term.